In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at some of the top free agents that are still available and making my predictions as to where they're going to end up. And hey, here's a hint. Could J.K. Dobbins be headed to the L.A. Chargers? We're going to talk about that and a whole lot more. But before we do, got to give a special shout out to today's presenting sponsor. It is Game Time. And the Game Time is my favorite ticketing app, and it's the best ticketing app because prices drop as the events get closer. You get the lowest price guaranteed, and it makes getting tickets to your favorite live events so so easy. Whether it's a sports game, whether it's music, whether it's comedy, theater events, concerts, I don't care. Game Time has tickets for you. If you want to go watch some March Madness, if you want to go watch some MLB as it today when we're filming this, it is opening day. You can get your tickets for $20 off if you download the Game Time app and use promo code CHATSPORTS. So buy tickets with two taps. Download the Game Time app create an account, and use code C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Once again, create an account, use our code CHATSPORTS, $20 off uh, for last-minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. All of that information is in the comment section and description of this video. So the NFL free agents that we're going to be discussing on this uh, episode of NFL Daily, Justin Simmons, Stephon Gilmore, and J.K. Dobbins. Just so you guys can know what we're doing. We're setting the scene for you. And let's kick this thing off with one of the top safeties available, and if not the top free agent available, Justin Simmons. I believe that these four destinations could make some sense for the safety. The Philadelphia Eagles, there's some buzz there that he might be linked, and then the PFF also put out an article suggesting that it would make some sense. I also like the New Orleans Saints because they could use another veteran safety alongside Tyron Matthew. And on top of that, the Honey Badger has been so, or has spoken so highly about Justin Simmons, claiming he's one of his favorite players in the league after he was released by the Broncos. So I could see a little bit of that happening with some uh, recruiting, if you will. The Kansas City Chiefs, for obvious reasons, they're always going to be looking for ways to improve their roster so they can keep winning Super Bowls. And on top of that, they could use another DB after Legereus Sneed was uh, moved. I know that he's not a cornerback, but, you know, another veteran DB doesn't hurt. And on top of that, the Baltimore Ravens, I think that they're a team to look out for because they could definitely use some help. But let's take a look at what PFF had to say on Justin Simmons to Philadelphia. His release from the Broncos may have been the biggest surprise of all notable players cut ahead of the offseason, even with the understanding that the safety market is routinely flooded with talent in free agency each offseason. And on top of that, you also have this from uh, PFF. Simmons' 82.3 coverage grade over the past three seasons is a top 15 mark among safeties. His 14 interceptions leads the position and his 52 defensive stops are a top 30 mark. Now, I'm going to be honest. I am very, very surprised that Justin Simmons is still available in free agency. To me, it kind of seems like it's one of those situations where maybe there's some contract issues and they're trying to figure out the financials between some of these teams that he's talking to. But I'm just surprised he hasn't been picked up yet. This is a quality player. And when he was released by the Broncos, it shocked a lot of people. For me, I personally would love if my team went and signed Justin Simmons. But I want to know who you guys think will just sign Justin Simmons. Just comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, and I'm going to be interacting with all of y'all in the comment section as well. Now, kicking it over to Stephon Gilmore, a veteran cornerback. That man, I don't care how old he is. He's still playing pretty good football. Here are the four teams that I could see this uh, Gilmore headed to. Detroit Lions, there's some buzz that they might be interested. There is reports about the Carolina Panthers, which we'll talk about here in just a second. A reunion could be in store. Another reunion, Stephon Gilmore back to New England. Could he go back up to Foxborough and play with the Patriots, where he, at one point in time he was playing arguably his best football in his career? And then the Las Vegas Raiders, I know that they could use another veteran defensive back on their roster. They got a solid defense under Antonio Pierce. But I think that bringing in a guy like Stephon Gilmore could really help out that defense, just take a little bit further of a step. But the free agency buzz around Gilmore is that he's rumored to be talking with the Panthers 
for a reunion. Now, Carolina recently did bring, uh, sign Jadavion Clowney, bringing him back to the Carolinas, so maybe there isn't as much interest as there was a few days ago, but I could see the Panthers wanting to go this route and have a reunion with a player who's pretty, or is still pretty productive and at one point in time was a good player for Carolina. Let's take a look at the coverage stats in 2023. He allowed a completion percentage of just under 55%. Not even 700 yards allowed. Four touchdowns. It's not bad, but it's not great. He did have 13 pass breakups and two interceptions, which to me, that's pretty nice. And on top of that, a QB rating of 83.3. I think that Stephon Gilmore would be a really excellent addition to a lot of teams, but you got to be honest with me. Would you be happy if your team signed Stephon Gilmore? If you want to go above and beyond, let me know who your team is, and then an H for happy or an N for nah, I'm going to type my H for happy. I'd be happy if my favorite team signed the veteran. But let's kick it to J.K. Dobbins because this is a player that it's kind of an interesting subject for him. The Los Angeles Chargers, there's buzz around him that he is about, that he is set to visit with the team. The Dallas Cowboys, they could always use a running back. Maybe they go get Zeke again. They need a running back. To be honest, I thought that they were going to go after Derrick Henry before free agency started. Jerry Jones has spent more time on his yacht than he has making calls to players, so that's why they need a running back. The Cincinnati Bengals, they could obviously use a little bit of a boost. I don't think that uh, they're going to need a massive help because they brought in Zach Moss, but if you do have Moss and Dobbins kind of as a one-two punch, I think that's actually a pretty intriguing running back room. And the Baltimore Ravens, Jim Harbaugh, he mentioned a reunion with uh, Baltimore and Dobbins going to show you that quote here in just a second but like I said the Chargers are set to host the running back from Baltimore J.K. Dobbins on a visit on Thursday March 28th which is today the time of filming this video that is today so we'll see what happens and what the outcome of it at uh, the outcome is of that meeting but let's talk about Dobbins to LA because he is coming off a torn Achilles from the 2023 season opener opener only got to play in one game which stinks for a player of this caliber because he's extremely productive when he's healthy he has some pass catch ability he's really good at running the ball as well for obvious reasons and on top of that the chargers running back room could definitely use a little bit of help isaiah spiller nah, nah well, okay maybe get a better rb2 elijah dotson Jarrett Pat patterson you know, cool. But Gus Edwards, I'm not sure moves the needle a ton for me. So I could see Jim Harbaugh wanting this guy on his team. However, take a look at what John Harbaugh, the head coach of the Baltimore Ravens, had to say about Dalvin Cook and J.K. Dobbins. We're just trying, or we're just going to see how that shakes out. There's some moving pieces to that part, and I'm just going to let Eric DaCosta handle that. If we bring one of those two guys back, I'd be happy to do it if we're not able to do it. We'll find some young guys. Now, J.K. Dobbins, the production, it's on your screen right now. Like I said, he's productive when he's on the field. However, it's just a struggle getting him on the field. Last year, literally only carried the ball eight times, which stinks. But, you know, back in 2020, the numbers were actually pretty impressive. And in 2022, I'm looking at that 5.7 average, and I'm looking at the numbers in 2020, and I'm like, not that bad in terms of the average. Like, he's still playing like a similar level, but his best receiving get season came in 2020 as well, where he had 18 catches for over 100 yards. Outside of that, it's been pretty lackluster for his pass catching ability, but I do think that Dobbins could make some sense for a team that doesn't want to sell the farm to pay for a running back, but also could use a little bit of extra veteran presence as well. And guys, I just want to give you a reminder. This is why you subscribe, because we're trying to bring you daily NFL videos, NFL videos, or NFL and NBA, excuse me. And on top of that, we do college sports. We do March Madness. We're bringing you guys coverage every single day. So turn on your notifications and lock us in. And as always, NFL fans, hope you all have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you next time.